giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All right, so top five. Uh, leading things off here, Justin's going to talk about team 3310. From Heath, Texas, it's Rockwell Heath High School. It's Blackhawk Robotics, 17 and 1 overall. We're the winners of the Amarillo District event in FIT. That's a new one. <laughs> Sporting a 2.66 RS, 3310 earned the number two spot at the event, hosting the highest cargo and hat score. Uh, they paired up with fellow Texas Power 148 and dominated the finals along with 2657, topping out at over 100 points twice. 3310 handled the level three, uh, the level three hab uh, for the alliance and now has won an event every year since 2012. So quite a streak for them. Uh, and another great start to their season. You can catch them again next week in Greenville. 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 I think Copioli was in the chat earlier, but I don't think it was real Copioli. They self-admitted it wasn't. Well, he isn't. He isn't chat quite frequently. So. Yeah, he is, for sure. But yeah, another great robot from Thirty Three Ten. They've really just been on a tear in Texas, and mm -hmm. it was really fun to watch uh, both of those very, very uh, uh, dark robots. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was tough to tell at times which one was which. <laughs> yeah. Just a little, just little black blurs going back and forth, but it was awesome. Yeah. And chat, we'd love to see your predictions, by the way, for the uh, top teams uh, remaining. So go ahead and type those in chat, too, because we want to see if you get them right uh, and see which teams are remaining in the top 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. So moving to the fourth spot, we're going to talk about team 1114. From, uh, say it with me, just, no, just kidding. <laughs> From St. Catharines. St. Catharines. <laughs> yeah, Ontario, Canada, Governor Simcoe Secondary School. It's Symbotics. I can't, I don't even want, or I'm curious to see how many times we've said that over the last nine years. A years. lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. An overall record of 17 0 and 1. They were the winners of the Humber District event. So we talked about their alliance partner early in the show, Symbot Symbotics. Um, has led this alliance with great gameplay during qualification matches, a 3.0 ranking score average and a 16.25 hab climb average. Um, Symbotics finished atop the field there at Humber. Their acquisition and placement of the game pieces is, pieces is top notch, and their hab three climb is a beaut for sure. So 1114 has won two events. Um, oh, 1114 last won two events in 2017. So uh, they look to keep that momentum going when they compete next at the Windsor Essex uh, Great Lakes District event um, later this month. Um, so it's just um, awesome to see um, 1114 win um, just they're at the, the top of the game like this. Um, last year, just one, one banner last year. Uh, I think they were in the finals at the uh, provincial championship, though. Um, but yeah, 1114, man. Um, the way they play this game is just really, really cool to see. Uh, their climb is really nice at the end, and uh, look forward to seeing them going forward. So I know Karthik was in here earlier, um, but I know he was at the event. But congrats to 1114, number four. Congrats to 1114. Yeah. And their, their climb was really, really cool. It's so yeah. fast and just a little bit different, which yeah, um, it is. always stands out a little bit. Yep. Is really sweet. Yeah, it's cool just to see. You know, there's a lot of teams doing similar things um, with you know what they they put down, or the ones that you know have something on top, like the claws that go on top and then you know push down, or um, then you have the couple suction cup teams. But yeah, uh, Love 14 definitely plays the or does their climb really interestingly. And I know we had a, a great picture Tyler posted advertising the show, and it's just uh, it's um, really cool to kind of see the the in the up close mechanics of how they do yeah. that. So. Simbot snowstorm. <laughs> Karthik's still here, by the way. I can't imagine him just going like, still here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on to our third ranked team. That's going to be team number 148. Speaking of things we've said a number of times, from <laughs> yeah. Greenville, Texas, Greenville High School, it's the Robo Wranglers, 18 and 0, undefeated winners of the Amarillo District event. So the defending world champs haven't lost an official match since qualification match 78 on the Hopper Division last year. Wow. They dominated their inaugural event in FIT. They earned two RPs more than number two alliance. And get this, they had 13 ranking points more than the number three seed. It was just a blow away. I, it's matches upon ma There were teams at the event that didn't come close to 13 ranking points, much less have 13 more than anybody else. So it was just uh, wow. an yeah. incredibly powerful uh, performance for them. And it was great. Uh, start for them after you know seeing Overhang in their much anticipated release video uh, and the robot that certainly li lived up to the hype. So, all black everything. Congrats to 148. You can catch them again at the Dallas event in week five. So I'm just assuming that 148 is running the Greenville event next year, 
or next week considering they're skipping it. So yeah, so that's, a, that's a, yeah. yeah, so that's a cool thing. Um, and that's something that, you know, on 3015, we consider doing if New York ever, if we ever, 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 ever get to districts, um, we think it'd be really cool to, to run an event, um, for other teams when we're not competing. So kudos to them on a, um, a great, a great start to their season. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Some, something I want to mention is I, I was really curious because, uh, you know, practice day is practice day, right? Or practice time is practice time. But I saw 11-14 uh, and 33-10. Uh, it was either practice or an early qual match. I don't quite remember uh, where they, they didn't – they worked together and, like, they didn't score that many points and weren't very successful. I'm like, what is going on? And then I'm like, you know what? Time will tell with something like this, right? And they're just going to keep getting better and better. And I see these two powerhouses just pair up. Uh, in the uh, finals and just just completely just steamroll uh, mm -hmm. a lot of them. I mean, look at this quarterfinals match that we have up here. Yeah. The score, the score right now is is going to be what like a hundred a hundred to forty or hundred to fifty or something like that. Like, I mean, they are they are in top tier form, continuing to continuing their role from last year, looking really good. Everything all black. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is this hard to find a beehive? Yeah, I was just gonna read that. <laughs> 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 that's funny oh justin we say what all the dramas in the two spot that's right this is the dra hashtag drama spot now it's the bucket that's bot right. <laughs> hey i would vote for the bucket bot let me tell you that's if you guys haven't spot. seen this by the way uh it is, i don't have the picture because tba said i think having some issues right now but uh go, go take a look at this bucket bot from the southeast region it is insane and we you can look at it in the southeast uh, region recap that we have uh is literally a bucket for the for the fuel delivery mechanism and it actually works quite well crazy for sure all right so in that second spot is team number 1323 <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> from madera california madera high school it's madtown robotics an overall record of 16 to 0 and they were the winners of the central valley regional perfect start from madtown robotics for the 2019 season taking the number one seed they would select fellow californian team uh 1678 and scoop up 76 63 to take the regional handily in six matches 1323 had five uh four point rank uh four ranking point matches during qualifications and a 3.5 ranking score average in qualification matches. Um, they're playing the field is just dominant and the have three climb is um, consistent, reliable as, as, the, as their whole game is. Um, we'll see 1323 again next week. Um, the Sacramento regional where 1678 will, will also be. So I, I think we'll be having this conversation maybe come again later this month, but incredible robot by Matt town. Congratulations on just an incredible start to deep space, man. Their robot is just so slick and so nice mm -hmm. watching it drive around. Just, Oh, it's just so smooth and all that they do so quick, so effective and oof, it's good. It's really good. She freaking nice. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, the team we just talked about and the team that will take the number one spot is going to be team 1678. From Davis, California, Davis Senior High School, it's the Citrus Circuits, 15-1 and one overall, and with the winners, the Central Valley Regional. So 1670 is great at building hype for their team. They love to release a sensor teaser in the later stages of build season just to make the rest of us feel a little bit bad about our robots. <laughs> then, Premier Night participants... Are, they participate in Premier Night, show us a little bit more, and then they brought their actual robot to the field for the first time and really blew away everybody else. Yeah. Another great robot from from 1678, and their triple climbs will be one of those iconic memories from this game um, for years to come. It's just awesome to watch, and the rest of the robot is awesome as well. So congrats to them on their Chairman's Award um, as well, earning oh, them a much-deserved yeah. gold, gold, gold cling blade. Gold gold, baby. That's where it's at. So what else can you say, guys, about 1678? Oh man, it's go ahead, Tyler. Uh, I was gonna say, I mean, so we posted uh, as um, hype, I think, for the voting. Uh, we posted the picture of them doing their triple climb that they have, and it was one of in I mean, almost instantly um, became just an insanely amount of viewed video. I'm, I'm trying to bring it up right now to see in the short period of time that we uh, brought this up to get people to vote. Uh, this video had it has 9,200 views just on Facebook alone, uh, just from us from a short clip. So like, yeah. imagine how many people are watching this at the event have seen this clip. Uh, I I don't know how many of the Twitch clip has uh, from it, but like the one that everybody we have, grabbed I mean, it. Yeah, everybody. 151. Has it. <laughs> yeah. You know, on just our channel alone, I mean, it reached 13,000 people, 151 shares, 9,200 video views. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, everybody saw this, and and what an incredible. Think they have so you can debate between 1323 and 1678 both fantastic robots uh, we, we just had rc on in our previous show by the way on roasting robots uh, so go check that out too 
Uh, but both these teams just paired up to be an absolutely incredible alliance. Uh, just scoring machines back and forth and, and the triple uh, the triple climb that they have. I mean, look at that. It's just so cool to see over and over and over again. Yeah, dude, it's so nice. So slick. Very cool. So yeah. congrats to... Uh, oh, go ahead, Justin. Oh, just Anthony in chat makes a good point. We haven't even seen 254 yet, so there's going to be oh, quite yeah. a few California teams that are yeah. just otherworldly, <laughs> which is awesome and exciting to look forward to. Yeah, for sure. So thanks to, um, again, uh, thanks to everybody who voted for this week's Top 25. Remember, you can vote Sunday at 5 p.m. to Monday at 5 p.m. Just love if you told um, those in your area about it, those friends you have across the country. Because again, the more that the more that we can get some votes across, um, the more fair and balanced we think it will be. So, uh, thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at Patreon.com/forward/slash/first updates now.